This one is best places to hide things in prison. Over to you, Alman. Okay. Um, depends what living situation you're in. If you're in a cell, you're very limited. But there is quite a few places you can hide places. Um, I actually sew. I I could sew, which was a bonus. Because okay, if you're in a cell, here's one for you. You got your mattress. You, all the way around your mattress, there's a white thread holding your top half of your mattress up to the bottom half of your mattress. You get a Stanley knife. You cut a bit of the thread, about that much, and then you're into sponge. All you do then is you pull a bit of the sponge out. You know, hi, I mean, like, fucking hell, you, you, you haven't got kilos in there to hide. The most thing you're going to be hiding is the size of two fucking fingers. You know what I mean? So, you fucking, you got your fucking drugs, and you got this hole in your mattress, and you got some of the, the, the fucking, the, the sponge out. You put it back in there, you put a bit of the sponge over it again, and then you get your so if you can sew this is, if you can't sew, you fuck, this is no good for you. Because you've got to have the right sewing technique to go through the same fucking holes and look, make it look right. And I've done that a few times and it looked good. The second time is your toilet roll. I mean, that's an easy one. You just basically, you, you get toilet rolls. You, everyone has about five or six of these in the locker. You always have extra toilet rolls. Basically, all you do is you just peel this bit back there. See that look? Yeah. You peel that bit back. Right. Look. Say you've got a wrap. You're not hiding a whole lot of drugs in prison, by the way, you know what I mean? Not everyone's got a whole lot of drugs. Say that's your wrap of coke or wrap of whatever it is. Put you it got a lot of like that. You get targeted, don't you? Yeah. And you go like that. Yeah, it doesn't fucking look like anything. And then you put that, say there, you put a couple of toilet rolls on top of it. Just always remember which one it is, because otherwise it's a pain in the fucking ass. There's another hiding place. When you're in a dorm, you've got a few good hiding places. I'd say the best one in the dorm is if you're a porter, you've got access to the broom and you've got access to a, to a mop. Well, every broom and mop has like a plastic head. So you just unscrew it and it's just a hollow tube. What you do is you get like a... Uh, some paper, just crunch it up, crunch it up, crunch it up, put it in there, put it in there, so you can still reach, but so it's like that far deep in there, <sighs> excuse me, and then you get your drugs, put it on top of that, then you get another piece of paper, and then crunch it up, shove it down there, but make sure you can get all of it, there's no point in doing what you can't get, get it, and then put the top back on. Nine times out of ten when they do a search, they'll go to the broom and they'll go to that and they'll shake it. If they can hear something, they'll open it up. But if they can't hear anything, what's the point in opening it up? The piece of paper on either side is stopping it from rattling. Um, there's also... Let me think. Box. Books, yeah. In the library, if you think there's going to be a shakedown, sometimes the prisoners get word there's going to be a shakedown. Sometimes they're all just sketching out because they're high on crystal meth. But in the library, they like put a fucking syringe needle in a book, in a in the book binding or on a book glued like taped to a book page. Guards got to look every fucking single page to try and find that syringe point in that book. And also. Some prisoners will fucking hide shit in your property and then tell the guards you've got something just to fucking set you up like that as well. Yeah, they will do that. Just, they? It, basically, it's you could, you could be in a cell 
And you could be ordering someone else's drugs and you wouldn't even fucking yeah. know. Yeah. They put on the old bed. It's you who's getting nicked, not them. They're shit houses and they'll get smashed for it. But by the time you get a kite to anyone, because you're in the fucking hole on a drug charge, you know. It's you know you got you got to you got to watch. I know people had drugs and shanks hidden in their shit mattresses, like what Marlon said. The guards came in, did the shakedowns, and then those people got took away. And you can even get street charges for it. Yeah, you, especially with a shank. Depends how much the drugs is, but with a shank, definitely you'll get a street charge. What about the vent and the light bulb, or light fixture, and all that shit? I've seen people do that, I've seen people go like they pop the socket and get a light and stuff like that. Yeah. But I, I didn't really bother with that. I mean, if you're going outside, if, if you're in a cap, fucking hell, when I was in the tent in Florence, you're outside. I mean, you could literally fucking stash it anywhere you fucking hell you wanted, know what I mean? You'd walk out your tent and there was just a whole load of fucking tents everywhere. And believe me, there was plenty of blind spots where the camera couldn't see you. You'd find a good blind spot, you could dig a little fucking hole and bury your shit there. And you don't do it in front of people. you got to be careful though when you do that. If someone sees you do it and someone robs you, there's not a whole lot you can do. You can't go around and accuse every single fucking tent. But there's... When you're outside, when you when you're doing minimum security like that, there's a whole lot of places you can hide. It's basically they don't even do shakedowns in the tents because there's that many fucking stuff hid. There's no fucking point. You know what I mean? Even on a high yard, high cat yard, on the exercise yard, you can hide stuff. Where you where where, where the weights would sit, you can find a spot and fucking hide your shit. You'd have to have people around you so the cameras didn't fucking see you and you'd have to be quick. But it's fucking hell. We just, how we'd pass drugs uh, in, in Florence from one yard to the other, we'd literally just have the drugs and we'd fucking put a stone on it, tie it up. You'd have one person looking at the tower there because he'd be looking at all different directions. Once he's fucking finished looking at your direction, he's looking at somewhere else. You just fucking lob it. Sometimes it goes in no man's land, which is a bit annoying, which means where, say, your, your, your yard's there, and then there's a, a pathway here, and then you've got to get it over to that fence there. If, you, you, if your stone's not heavy enough, and you get it in no man's land, well, that's basically lost drugs, that. Because the next person that gets up for medical call or whatever, has got to see that and pick it up and snipe it straight to fucking work. And there's not a lot you can do about it. So make sure you've got a heavy enough rock so you can actually laz it and like fucking get it. And then the people over there are waiting. You don't just you throw drugs into a yard without no one waiting for it, you know what I mean? And when they think they've found someone throwing drugs, the best thing what the whites do is, they all crowd as if they want to get in quick and while they're doing that it's getting passed around hands here there and every fucking way and the person who thinks got the drugs fucking could be on a different fucking door, you know what I mean? If you're crowded in and you're passing shit in, they can't search every fucker. You find out when you go there, if you ever go there, where, where to hide drugs. I mean, your best thing is not to do fucking drugs in the. to be fair, like, you just, if you ever want to get out, if you want to be a fucking numpty and just want to fucking say, oh, this is it, I've given up in life, I'm just going to live in fucking jail, well, that's up to you, even prison, but I prefer a life. Yeah, I did wrong, I fucking, we both did wrong. We're not making these videos to say, hey, look at us, we're fucking big rich gangsters, because we're obviously fucking not. We're making these videos to stop fucking knuckleheads from fucking making the same mistakes we made. So that's why it kind of pisses me off when I get dumb things like, you know, oh, why, is, why have you got a cushion behind you? And like stupid bastard questions <laughs> like that. When the video is about prison. And where to hide things, and one of the main places to hide things is 
in your anal cavity. It's the best place to hide. You can hide quite a lot in there. Um, the mules, so like minimum medium security visit, you sat at a table with your visitor. Visitor might have a baby, drugs are wrapped in plastic in the baby's nappy. Prisoners distract the visitation officers. While they're distracted, drugs are extracted, passed under the table, prisoner shoves them in his behind because you're strip searched all the time. So after visit, completely naked, he's looking in your ears, mouth, armpits, raise your man parts, turn around, bed, bend over, spread them and cough. So the mules, they pride themselves on how many packages they can hide in their arses without them peeking out during strip searches. They grease themselves up first. What they do is they get the baby oil or whatever they've got and they'll actually, you know, they'll fucking put up their arse first. So when they've got that package coming, because nine times out of ten it's a condom. When they've got it coming like that, they just literally, they got used to just going prop, and it's the, it's in the, and by the time they've walked off, you're good to fucking go. I've seen people have fucking eight or nine fucking packages coming a little skinny. Doesn't matter. After so much, you fucking, it's, it's just like a labyrinth. Cell phones, shanks, yeah. syringes, everything. I've had about eight or nine lighters up my ass. you know what I mean? It's just like fucking, each one's about that fucking big. It's just... If you've got a small amount of drugs to hide, and you've got a foreskin, you can always go with the foreskin because if it's you, very rarely so. If that's the only drugs you fucking got, I wouldn't even fucking bother with it. Do hey, I mean? a few hits of acid, unless you've got a massive foreskin, then fucking you could get quite a lot. If you're a Jew, you're fucked. <laughs> All of the Americans are fucked, lad. They're all circumcised. Oh, God. <laughs> Didn't you know it's in the strip searches? No, I never did. Do you have any thought. communal ones? No. So... We've covered the broad range there of all the different places you can hide stuff in prison. If you've got any more questions for us, please put them in the comment section. The main thing is, don't put yourself in that situation where you've got to hide drugs. And while I would much prefer comments about his varying hairstyles than certain other things. Yes, of course. Do you like my hairstyle? Do you like it? Cheers from Widner. Nice and smooth. <laughs> Party at the back.